When creating line drawings, artists frequently depict intended curves using multiple, tightly clustered, or overdrawn strokes. Given such sketches, human observers can readily envision the intended aggregate curves and can mentally assemble the artist's envisioned 2D imagery. Algorithmic replacement of overdrawn stroke clusters by corresponding aggregate curves can benefit many sketch processing applications. We propose Stroke Aggregator, a novel stroke consolidation method that produces aggregate curve drawings consistent with viewer expectations. Our framework clusters strokes into groups that jointly define intended aggregate curves by leveraging principles derived from human perception research and observation of artistic practices. Viewers are more likely to group strokes together if they are either roughly parallel or tangent continuous. The reliance on angles is context-based. Strokes with dissimilar angles can still be grouped together if they are visually connected by additional strokes. Given a set of shapes, we visually group objects together if the spacing between them is much smaller than the spacing between them and other objects. Note that this grouping is contextual. Similarly spaced objects are seen as belonging to the same or different groups based on the position of other objects. We speculate that humans intuitively understand curves as being narrow, namely having a small width to length ratio, and use this cue to distinguish between overdrawn strokes and parallel features. Artists seek for their drawings to be unambiguous, and when drawing potentially ambiguous geometry, use additional strokes to clarify intent. We refer to this observation as strength in numbers. Human observers can account for all these principles simultaneously and assemble a mental image of the artist's intended consolidated image. Our algorithmic challenge is to translate these cues into a clustering framework. While relative proximity plays a major role in clustering decisions, assessing it requires context and thus cannot be reliably performed on standalone stroke pairs. Moreover, distances between strokes may vary at different points along them. Detecting and separating stroke branches that depict different curves requires a meaningful inter-stroke correspondence. We overcome these challenges by employing a targeted clustering framework that refines clusters by gradually incorporating new and more localized perceptual cues into their assessment. We start with an initial clustering based on pairwise angular compatibility analysis. We then refine the clusters by accounting for proximity and other cues. In both stages, we separate groups of strokes absent clear evidence that the combined cluster satisfies all necessary perceptual criteria. Our last clustering step analyzes and resolves these ambiguous cluster configurations by relying on interactions between strokes within the current clusters. We facilitate cluster and pairwise stroke analysis by employing a common 1D parameterization for groups of strokes via common aggregate curve fitting. We use the same fitting method to compute the final result. We validate our framework in a number of ways. We compared our results to manual consolidation. Visual inspection confirms that our results are of comparable quality. We also compared our results to algorithmic alternatives. Here, we compare against raster space consolidation and vectorization methods. Here, we compare our clusters and output to the method of Orbe and colleagues, and the closure-based method of Liu and colleagues. The outputs these methods produce exhibit visible artifacts on multiple inputs. In contrast, our method consistently produces results well aligned with viewer expectations. Contrary to prior methods, it does not require training data or per-model parameter changes. In a qualitative user study, participants preferred our results 92% of the time and judged them as on par 7% of the time. Participants deemed our results to be on par with artist-generated ones, judging our results to be better or equal quality 75% of the time. Thank you.